We have some great boys basketball talent in the northwest suburbs. A standout from one of the smaller schools in the area is featured in this week's CCX Sports Spotlight. Here's Jay Wilcox. He isn't quite a household name among Twin Cities High School Hoops fans, but Quavon Douglas should be. Hugh Douglas going to the hole and lays it in. The Brooklyn Center senior is averaging better than 31 points per game. He's a great scorer, and his overall game has grown too. I would say my passing got way better. I, I didn't really use to pass a lot growing up, younger age, so my passing basically increased a lot. He's really an all-around player. He can shoot, he can dribble, he can drive. I mean, if you don't step up, he's going to shoot. If you step up too close, he's going to drive. I mean, I see everybody that's running him as a mismatch, to be honest. That's what we're trying to put into his game, the versatility. So the college can see that he can play defense and he can play offense. We all know what a great score Q is, but I don't think people know how, how well he can play defense. A good three-point shooter who can also drive the ball to the hole and overpower smaller guards inside, Douglas has had recent games of 43 points and a pair of 38-point outings, all coming against defenses that are geared to stop him. It's exciting, you know what I'm saying? You get to learn how to overcome those, those things that they try to stop, so. I just basically take on what they give me. Whatever they give me, I'll just take it, whatever they give. So that's what I'm based off of. One nice thing about being counted on to carry a heavy scoring load, Quay knows he doesn't have to worry if he doesn't start the night hitting everything. It doesn't really bother me. I'm gonna still keep shooting, so it's all right. If I miss, I'm gonna eventually make some, so. Douglas is in his sixth varsity season. Though they've struggled in recent seasons, he was part of a Centaurs team that reached the state tournament in 2018 when he was a seventh grader. That was a great experience as a young age, man. It was very exciting, cameras in your face. It was a lot. All of the kids that was on that state tournament team left. He was the only remaining person that was there. And through all of the losses, Q hung in there to now that we starting to turn the program around, it shows his talent. While the Centaurs still don't have a great record, a closer look reveals that they have made some strides this season. They'd won seven games as of midweek, four of them in February, and some of their losses have been tight contests against good opponents. With Quavon Douglas leading a group that's grown together, the BC guys feel that they might be a sleeper team in the Section 5 2A tournament. We can make a run in sections. If we all just play together, play as a team, and everybody shared a ball, crash for rebounds. I think we can surprise some people, definitely, because we play a lot of big and great teams, so, and we had we have good games against them, so I believe we can show them up in Texas. For the CCX Sports Spotlight, I'm Jay Wilcox. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.